Today I'm going to be teaching you one of my favorite methods for attaching elastic to a garment. I love this method because it stitches the elastic into the garment so it doesn't shift around and it also makes everything look really nicely finished because all of our seams, all of our raw edges, everything is going to be enclosed inside of the garment. So let's get started. If you are using a pattern that does not have measurements for elastic, or let's say you wanna do this method on a pattern that does not um, have it built in already, then you can just add a hem allowance of two and a half inches. If you add in that extra two and a half inch hem allowance, then that's gonna be the space that you need for this one inch elastic. The materials you're going to need are a um, finished bodice with the hem obviously not finished yet, and then some knit elastic. You do not wanna use the braided elastic. You wanna make sure and use the knit elastic because since we are sewing through the elastic, um, knit elastic will not lose its um, recoil, its um, elasticity from stitching through it. If you are using other types of elastic, um, they will be damaged, that elasticity will be damaged by sewing through it. So make sure you get the knit elastic. We are using one inch for the hem, but obviously you can adjust that to your preference. And I am just using some oddly colored thread for visualization purposes so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. If your pattern does not have measurements for how much elastic you need, you're going to have to start by getting your elastic, wrapping it around your waist. Make sure, before you do this actually, make sure you give it a good stretch. Stretch it out really well before you put it around your waist or your hip, wherever it is that the pattern is finishing on you. We are working on the Melissa sweatshirt here. This is ending at the full hip, so you'll wrap this around your full hip, make it snug but not uncomfortable. I think we tend to make the elastic a little tighter than than we like when we're trying it on on its own. So make it snug but not too tight and overlap it by about an inch and go ahead and give it a cut there. So the first thing we need to do is put our elastic in a loop so that we can attach it to the bodice. So what you're going to do is overlap the ends by about an inch here and I like to do what I call a box cross stitch, where we are going to be sewing a, using a straight stitch on our sewing machine, we are going to sew a box around the outside and then a cross down the middle. It's actually quite simple. All you need to do is just drop the needle and pivot it around to make that design. I will show you what it looks like in just a minute here. So let's go ahead and do that first. So here is your box cross stitch that I like to make. I really love this one because it keeps the elastic really secure when you're pulling it. And of course it doesn't require any special stitches, just a straight stitch. If you do not want to do this one, you can opt to do a handful of zigzag stitches across, but this is the one that I would suggest you go with. Now we're going to grab our bodice here and the first thing we want to do is turn it inside out. And with it inside out, we are going to mark the quarter points along the hem of the bodice and the elastic here. Because we don't want to unevenly stretch this across the bottom. If it's unevenly stretched, you're gonna get bunching in some places and looseness in other places. We want it evenly bunched across the entire thing. So the easiest way to do that is just by dividing it in quarters. What I like to do is use my quilters clips here. They're really easy to see. And start by marking the side seams with 
my clips. So I got one clip there, one clip on the other side seam. And now I'm going to fold this in half this way so that the clips are matched up and that will reveal the other quarter points on the side here. So now I will mark here and here. So now we have one, two, three, four quarter points on the hem. Now let's mark the quarter points of the elastic. I do not like to put our overlap at any of the quarter points. Um, instead, I'm going to put that off center. So what we're gonna do to mark our quarter points for the elastic is just start by laying it flat like this and putting a clip here on both ends. And then just like with the bodice, we will match them up at the middle. And mark a quarter point on that end and a quarter point on this end. So now we have quarter points on the elastic and quarter points on the bodice. Time to put them together. Let's lay the bodice flat like this. And with the bodice flat, we are going to put the elastic on the inside of the bodice here. Match simply by matching up the quarter points. I'm going to be removing clips as I go. But you just match them together. So that we have the elastic stretching out evenly across the bodice here. Last point here. And then we'll have everything in quarters. It'll be super easy to attach at this point. So now that you have the elastic in quarters, you can either opt to just sew it like this um, just stretch this out as you go, or we can go ahead and put in halfway points here so that you have it in eighths. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, but what we're going to do is take this over to our sewing machine, and we are going to be attaching the bottom raw edge of the bodice to the bottom of the elastic here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you. So we will be using a zigzag stitch that is a quarter of an inch wide to go right along this edge here. And I will be using my red thread so that you can see it really nicely when I'm finished. But don't forget that you're going to need to stretch out the elastic as you go so that it bunches, of course, so that it fits the, the hemline of the shirt. So with these two together meeting at this raw edge, take it to the sewing machine, use a zigzag stitch that's a quarter of an inch wide and go all the way around that bottom edge. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So this is what it should look like now that it is all sewn together at the bottom here. You'll see that since we used a zigzag stitch, it can stretch out without an issue. And um, it's about a quarter of an inch in from the bottom of the hem. 
So now it's time to make this look nice because as um, functional as this is, this looks pretty hideous and it would not be comfortable with the elastic sticking out. So we're going to do a couple of folds and it's going to be quite simple here. Um, you might want to use your iron if you're having a hard time getting things to lay flat, but um, with our handy little clips here, we shouldn't have a problem. Basically, all we need to do is take the elastic and now it's flipped out. Okay, so the underside looks like this, a clean edge on that side. We have it flipping out away from the front of the bodice. Then we're going to flip it again, flip it again, like that. Since the elastic has been stretched, you are going to need to stretch this as you go when we're going all the way around. And also you wanna make sure that as you're doing your double fold here, that you're pushing the elastic down um, each time so that you know it's really flush down to the edge. You don't wanna be you know, rolling it up loosely like this. You want it to be nice and tight to the bottom edge. So let's go ahead and start. I like to do um, all of the folds all at once. So instead of going around and doing one fold all the way around and then doing the other fold all the way around, I prefer, which you can do that, but I prefer to do the double fold um, at quarter points and then moving inward from those. So I am just making sure that my seam, I'm finger pressing it flat here. And then I'm going to fold it once, fold it twice. You can use your clips if you would like, or if you're a pin person and you would like to get this top edge a little better, you are welcome to do that. So this is what it it looks like now that it's double folded. Everything is encased, no ugly seams or raw edges. It's going to look this smooth and clean all the way around. So just for the heck of it, I'll use the pins from this point forward. Now I'm going to go over to another quarter point. Doing the quarter points is just such a great way to make sure that you're getting everything even, whether you're doing neck bands, whether you're easing in sleeves. I always really prefer that we divide it out into little um, sections rather than tackling the whole piece because um, almost in almost every situation, it's going to give you a more predictable easing in. So now we'll come to the side seam here. Single fold, double fold, and then pin. Because even though we attached the elastic with the quarter points, you can still get an uneven roll on this if you aren't paying attention. You can be sewing down this top edge here unevenly and it can create what I call a wave effect, where it kind of looks like ocean waves going across, which as lovely as the ocean is, we do not want the ocean on our clothing. And then, now we have our quarter points, I'm going to go at the points in between and then do the same thing. So we'll be working in eight set at this point. If there's ever a point when you're pinning where you find something like this, where you see how we've got all this extra fabric just kind of creating a bubble here, that's going to be annoying when you're sewing. So whenever you come across one of those, even if you've pinned it in a lot of places, I always take the time to pin those specific points to make sure that they're not being fussy when we take it to the sewing machine. Okay. 
Okay, so now the hem is completely pinned um, so that it's got the double fold on it. At this point, it's we're, we're almost done. We've just got one more stitch to go. You wanna go ahead and get some matching thread both in your bobbin and in your top thread here. And we're going to sew only about 1 8th, 1 16th even of an inch of the way in from the top here. We just wanna barely catch this folded edge. Make sure that you're stitching through the elastic. As long as you pushed it down while you were doing that double fold like we talked about, you should be able to catch the edge of that elastic right at the top edge there. So you're gonna use a short straight stitch because you will be stretching this out as you stitch it on. You don't need, um, you don't need the stretch factor with this specific stitch. So you'll be stretching it taut as you sew. Use a straight stitch. I usually do about 2.2 stitch length for this and go all the way around and make sure that you tack back on the ends of your stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll notice that I have to pull back on the fabric as I'm sewing because there's so much tension with me pulling the elastic taut that it can keep the, the feed dogs from pulling the bodice through. And your elastic is all finished. It is attached completely evenly all the way around because we took our time to divide it into quarters. It is nice and beautiful on the inside of the garment. No raw edges showing, no nasty seams or stitches. It's just absolutely lovely on the inside, which also means it's comfortable. It's nice and soft. You can use this technique not only on hems of um, bodices like this, you can use it for waistbands, you can use it for sleeves, um, cuffs, things like that. Wherever that you wanna use elastic in your garments, as long as you adjust the hemming allowance necessary, depending on the thickness of elastic that you're using, this is a really great option, a really great technique for putting it in. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun elastic tutorial. Please leave your questions, projects, comments, whatever in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos and I will see you next time.